Good morning, everyone. It is CC Cartwheel VSG. Um, this is pretty much how I start off my morning every morning. Um, and that is with a cup of coffee with half and half, tablespoon of half and half, a tablespoon of the sugar-free French vanilla. Um, and I also mix in a tablespoon of Gen Pro medical grade protein. So one tablespoon in my coffee um, and the, this is the stats on it. Uh, 98 calories and 30 grams of protein. So that's how I start off my coffee in the morning and that's the first thing I drink in the morning. Okay. Hi everyone, it's about 10.30 in the morning and I'm having my morning snack which is typically this. Salted caramel happens to be my favorite new flavor. Light and Fit Greek um, has 12 grams of protein, 9 carbs, 7 grams of sugar, 80 calories. Nice little protein boost and I always mix it, my favorite way to have it is with a tablespoon of shelled sunflower seeds. So that's how I eat my yogurt. All right. Hi everyone. So this is my lunch, which is usually leftover dinner when I pack it myself. Um, this was a Kahlua pig. It's a Hawaiian pork roast. You just take a pork butt or a pork shoulder and, um, wrap it in layers of aluminum foil with a little bit of rock salt and you bake it in the oven at 325 for um, an hour per pound low and slow um, until the internal temperature reaches about 160 to 80 I forget which it is and then you take it out and shred it um, it's to emulate how they cook pork in an emu pit in Hawaii um, so once you're done with the shredded roast, then you take a head of cabbage, cut it up, and put it in there until it wilts. So this is what I'm having for lunch. I'll show you portion size. Um, I've got it in a cup container, but half of it is uh, pork. So I think it's about three and a half ounces, maybe four ounces of pork. I don't know that I'll eat it all, but I'm going to heat it up in the microwave. And that's what lunch is going to be. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hey, YouTube friends and fam. I'm hoping that I can piece this together, but I'm in my car. And um, I'm anticipating doing my day of food for you guys. And this is just something that I happen to get. Um, I usually pack my lunch, but this is my go-to if I forget to pack my lunch for work. And if you can't see it, it's a container from Panda Express, which is pretty sure they're nationwide. They're go-to fast food Chinese. Um, and there happens to be one right down the street from my office. And this is a go-to that I have for lunch pretty much a lot of the time when I've forgotten to pack my lunch. So I'm going to open this and show you what it looks like. And this is a to-go plate. So it's the mid, it's not the bowl, but it's the mid-level to-go plate. And I get it half with vegetables and half with teriyaki grilled chicken, but no sauce. So it's just really the chicken thighs or chicken breasts, whatever kind of chicken they use, but it's just the grilled chicken and I don't get the sauce on it and I get mixed vegetables. So anyway, um, this will last me at least two lunches, if not three. Um, for eight bucks, not so bad. So um, check it out if you have a Panda Express near you and you forget to pack your lunch. Uh, here's a good go-to. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hey, YouTube peeps. It is dinner time and I am going to make for my dinner... Um, Alfredo shrimp Alfredo zoodles. So this is about five and a half ounces of cooked and peeled shrimp. It's they're not all the way cooked, but they're almost done. And then this is three and a half ounces of zucchini that I put through my spiralizer, and you can see it makes it into noodles. 
and I'm going to mix it with a quarter cup of this Alf light Alfredo sauce, um, ragu Alfredo, um, which is 60 calories, 2 grams of carbohydrate, 2 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat. So not bad. A little goes a long way. Um, and I may put a teaspoon or so of Parmesan cheese on it. But that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Okay. Okay, and that's the finished product. Um, I sauteed it in about a teaspoon of olive oil and then added the sauce and just finished it off with a teaspoon of shredded Parmesan. One tablespoon is 20 calories. I used it, I used just a teaspoon. Um, but anyway, that's what I added to it and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. So, I've had it before. It's a pretty good dinner. Okay. Hi, everyone. So, um, I'm pretty much done for the day eating, but I just wanted to talk about some things that I have usually on a pretty daily basis. Um, nuts. The key with, I eat them every day, almost. Um, and the key that I will say to eating nuts is you just have to measure them. So you want to keep to what a serving size is. Um, and I'm just looking at this one, but about 170 for about an ounce is right. Um, protein, 7 grams. Carbs, 5. And then fiber, 2 grams. Um, I eat them on a reg regular basis, but I'm really good about measuring my portion out because I don't... Um, want to just have an open container that I can stick my fingers into anytime because I think that would be a little dangerous for me. So I do eat nuts on a regular basis at probably every day. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure every day. Um, and I just think the key is measuring them out. Um, another thing that I started eating, um, this actually I ordered from HSN and it is, I have one of these at night after my meals. Um, I just have one of them. It's called Chocolate Nouveau. Um, it's supposed to lower your cholesterol, although mine was pretty low the last time I checked, but I like the idea of one piece of dark chocolate and the stats on it are pretty good. Um, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, right here. One piece is 20 ca 25 calories, um, two carbs, and it's supposed to be really good for you. Chocolate, heart healthy chocolate. So look on HSN if you're interested in it. Otherwise, you can also go to this ProCapsLabs.com and you can read about it there as well. I usually have one piece of chocolate at night after my meal. And then another thing that I just found that I love, it's called Enlightened, the Good For You Ice Cream. I don't have one of these every day, but I probably have it uh, two or three times a week. Um, it's seven grams of protein, high fiber, no artificial sweetener. My favorite is the sea salt caramel, 80 calories. Um, here are the stats, 80 calories. Carbs are 17, but then there's dietary fiber of 5. Um, sugar is only 5 grams, and then erythritol is 6, and then there's 7 grams of protein. So I don't eat them every day, but as a treat, if I wanted something for um, something sweet, uh, I'll have that. And like I said, probably two, three times a week, maybe just twice. I mean, I don't have them every day. But if you're going to try them, um, the sea salt caramels, the one that I recommend, and I buy them at a grocery store around here called Sprouts. Okay.